Stephanie McMahon stepped down as co-CEO. I mean, you probably have memories of her way back. Yeah, she was 14, 15 years old. She'd always be at the garden. As I would come out, she would, she wouldn't be ringside, but she'd be in the good seats right just above ringside where we came out, you know. Never really met her until later, yeah. She always waved. Real sweet lady, but yeah, I heard she stepped down. Then I heard Vince has got partners with people in Saudi Arabia, but he's still going to run the thing. I mean, I, I can't see him wanting to step down and let anybody run it for him. Did you ever think in your career that you would ever see Vince McMahon step away from the WWE? No. No, I heard a lot of stuff that he's going to sell it and all this kind of thing, the NBC people. But there's no way that this is what he created, this is what his dad created, and um, from WWF and WWF and WWE, this is all McMahon stuff, Vince Sr. And, and Vince... Today, Vince McMahon, Jr., I always called him. <laughs> he's no junior anymore, and he's he, he created this whole thing, and I just, I'm glad he came back about the accusations. It's no big deal to me. You know, this is 2023 now, and come on now, just because some girl said this and that, or he said, she said, they said, whatever, that's all bullshit. So I'm glad he's back. Yeah. Like you said, it looks like WWE potentially is for sale now. There could be for sale, or at least yeah. you're looking into it. Yeah. But you got all, it, it take forever to get approved because you got all those stockholders and stuff. And then I heard about Saudi Arabia and stuff. And, you know, Vince is a wheeler dealer, but if he sold to anybody, I would, I hope it would be NBC and Dick Eversall and all that from all the way back to Saturday night's main event. And so they've always had that connection. And then the WWE Network now is Peacock, which is NBC. So it would make sense. Um, I don't know about Saudi Arabia. I, I just think it's they're rich as hell and maybe it's a way to, if he can coordinate, he's not gonna step down. I do not believe that. If he could take their money and they wanna invest or whatever, and they're, you know, he, they've been running shows like once or twice a year in Saudi Arabia, so they're big wrestling fans over there. So he'll do the right thing. I hope so. I mean, I, I know so. I should say. Like it looks like this fund uh, is inquiring about it. They already have money in Amazon, Google, BlackRock, yeah. Chase. Yeah. So they have money all around the world. Yeah. So you just you take their money, but you don't lose. You don't step down. He ain't gonna step down. You know, I, there's no way in hell. This is an American company, WWF, E, excuse me. It's just shifting, you know how these billionaires are, they shift money around, and he's not gonna let go. But you yeah. think no matter what, wherever it does, if it does eventually sell, that he's going to remain in, in yeah. position of power? Yes, I, that's what I believe. Yeah. I could be wrong, but I don't think I'm wrong. I've been in this friggin' business, uh, 40 years and my dad was in it 40 years before that and no i don't that this is his brainchild this is his monster for lack of better word it's his deal we talked about saudi arabia earlier wwe has been going there since 2018 there's been some controversy people have been upset because of the human rights history there if you're offered a payday do you give a shit i mean are you going to go like all right saudi arabia but uh, i don't mind being on the show no, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind running the show. I wouldn't, you know, they want to throw a bunch of money on me. Money's money. It's all green or gold. I don't believe in the way they, none of those Middle East places like that, how they treat women is terrible. Making them wear a mask and shit all over, cover their face. It's bullshit. But this is just mainly a money deal. Hey, this is Greg the Hammer Valentine, and thank you for watching. We've got more stuff and goodies coming down the trail. Nothing like old school wrestling talk. Watch title match.